Let's create a new folder. We'll call this Railgun. And we'll likely need to make yeah, we'll need a reference to this. So we need we not, you might need to make a blueprint that captures all the nuance, but I don't know what I'm doing yet, so I have to make something. So we'll start with one and maybe we'll end up replicating it. I'll have to combine them into a single blueprint, like common functionality. But okay, so for the time being, let's just drag and drop this guy in. Drag the FBX in. So we'll let it build Nanite. Let's see. I wish I could select profiles. Be like, this is a static mesh. and I want these settings. But right now, if you're importing things differently, then it'll, it'll adjust things. I'm just going to try and use mostly defaults, but there's certain... certain things that might be an issue like this but I'll, I'll just deal with it for now skeleton yeah I'll just import anytime I import unit unreal freeze it so I'll come back and there we go okay so it looks like it updated it complains about stuff but it hardly matters right now all right let's go to the scene so map we have a test scene for weapons Map. Yeah, sure. Okay, so here we go. Um, what's next? So, yeah, here's this obnoxious thing with the sequencer not working, but when you hit play, it should work. Yeah, so see how the drawer pops out. It really agitates me that it doesn't just stay out. Because I, I don't want sequencer open all the time, but it seems like you have to have it open to get the scene to be... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's get that weapon. Okay, so let's open this guy up and just take a look. So it's really tiny. I'm going to try and fix that. I'm just going to create a blueprint for it. And then... So for now, we'll just make a derive from actor. So BP railgun. We can say weapon card. Uh, it's kind of deceptive. Um, I don't want to call it a card. It is related to the card, but window. So eventually, we plan to make it a kind of a a portal. So we could call it a window or a portal. Uh, maybe I'll choose portal. And that can be a little confusing. Uh, I'm trying to think of a name that, because we're going to be using this a lot. So make its parent that class. So we go to class settings, BP. Weapon window. Cool. Here we are. So it's basically the same. And so now we should be able to add a row and stuff. Just do this by hand. Um, so the name. Can I just mess with this? Yeah. So we can just do rail gun like it, we talked about. And then the class. Uh, we can just grab and see how it even just gives you a list already. So this one is nothing, but then this is our, our real gun. So then there we go. We can save that so we can add another one. And this could be other gun. And same deal, it could pull down the list and, you know, so you can keep adding them like that. Okay, so that's our data table. Save all these files, close this guy. All right, so I, I want to say the qual highest quality level is six or seven. But then, yeah, you could have another one.
and you know this could have a different a different blueprint so this is how it did it before and so it would roll it would the code would just look for anything so it would look for anything railgun but this is kind of how we can how we can um, support different different quality levels and then there was a fallback so like if it couldn't find anything it might just use like a blank image or a black image uh, so anywho yeah that's so we can do that so for now um, for now we'll just yeah I want to say it's six is the, the legendary one but in the asset this weapon window asset over here so this is where we want to correct it. And so I think because it's in a blueprint, we can do it in game mode. So I'm going to pull this over here, another window. I'm going to hit play. So now I have this guy, and I have this window over here. So I should be able to just rotate and edit, which I can't. Yeah, let me just pull it over here to just not such a... Use the hotkeys here and just kind of get it in position. This is finally, this is the part I wanted to reach, like, <laughs> finally, here after so long. So long, I mean, right? It's been so long. Right, let's minimize this guy a little bit. Get it to fit. It's really the same as the ship, right? We're going to have the same problems, the same uh, sort of style. We can have particle effects and stuff. Kind of find some favorable angle that just looks neat. Get this. Uh, I want it to jet out. It needs to be in front of the card. Is this world or relative? Hold on. Doesn't seem to be cycling. Either. Huh. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I needed this one. Took a second for it to work. There we go. Yeah, so we can maybe do that. Let me switch back to local and kind of jet it forward a little bit. There you go. Yeah, something like that. And then we're we're gonna fix this boundary issue. Um, so yeah, I know that it's not uh, perfect because the the model the model's jutting out and like getting in the way in the back. Like we want to cut that out. So that's the next thing I'm gonna work on. But at least for now, oh my goodness, stop it. At least for now, what we'll have is we'll have a way to add in these these guns. So let me pull in one more. So let's, let's just, we should now be able to just quickly add them. So I think I have another one called a crate. This one was designed a long time ago. Let's put, let me find it real quick. All right, here we go. So we're going to drag this guy in, just as is. There's Bunny Bomb. Yeah, we have some stuff. Let's, let's drag some stuff in. Let's do Bunny Bomb. I just did crate, right? <laughs> Gosh. Nanite, sure. This one's definitely animated as well, but we're gonna just let's just get it in. I'm gonna pause again. It takes a while. All right, it, it takes like two minutes to do that. It takes a very long time. All right. It's, so we got this. We'll rename this to Funny Bomb to match. While it's doing it too, you can't do anything else. Alright, so we have this. Let's take a look at it real quick. Make sure it actually loaded something we can use. It's very tiny. Uh, now we can add a pin. We can add another test in here. So we can do make S card mod. And so what was it, the bunny bomb? So we can say this is like 12 or something. That's not. Bunny bomb description. Boom. Okay, then uh, 
bunny bomb. And we'll just say quality. I guess we can do uh, just one. No, the six, because it's a model. Why is it not giving me the cursor? Cool. So now we have this showing up. So the bunny bomb, it should fail because there's no. Um, bunny bomb won't show up because the uh, graphic hasn't been added to the, the data table. So now that we have this thing going, we pulled in the weapon for bunny bomb. So like railgun here, we have a BP weapon window railgun. So we can do the same thing here with the blueprint. So BP weapon window railgun. No, bunny bomb. Bunny bomb. And then uh, we can make this class derive from BP card window, what is it? Yeah, BP card window. So we can do that. We can pull in this bunny bomb stack mesh. I get this scene root, I suppose, as much as you can. Okay. Right. So we can scale this up. I guess it's too small. 10. All right. So here we are. And this isn't the animated version, so it's not as cool. Um, it gets really neat when it's animated. So we'll get to that. Now, we have this in here. Uh, this by itself still will not work. So we have to make sure that we go to the tables and then create the reference. So there's card window ref. And we'll I'm add a row. So come to data table here. So instead of other gun, one, just rename this to bunny bomb six. Is this like the highest quality level? And this class is now incorrect, so we can go pull that up, save, save, check out, cool. Uh, and then now it should work. So here we go. And we can kind of clean it up. So, let's get the scene going so we can see both at the same time. Pull this guy out. Just kind of fix it. Come on, hotkeys, work with me. Sometimes it just takes a second to like update, but the hotkeys like aren't working all of a sudden. Oh. Oh, this is like maybe the front. I, I think they're the front is yeah, since it's symmetrical, it's all right. I'll get this angle going. So these will be flat. It won't be sticking up like that. So I'll try and keep that in mind while I'm doing this. So I might have to zoom out a little bit more on this. Scale might even not be great. Let's mess with the scale. Yeah, so something like that. Oops. Something like that. I rotate it. Yeah, it'll be animating. So, like that. So, this one will be really good to have like particle effects because there's a huge background that we can use. But yeah, it'll be kind of wobbling and rotating. And there's there's an example animation of us somewhere in our like archive Discord or you know. But anyways, this is yeah. So we have something there. 